Whole body cryotherapy. A treatment used by some Premier League footballers, Hollywood actors and biohackers. So what is it? Essentially, it's the process of putting yourself inside a chamber or enclosure that's really, really cold. And I mean temperatures such as minus 140 degrees C. A few years back, I had a go in a cryotherapy chamber. I was filming a demo for a TV segment that I used to present on a news channel here in the UK. The duration of time that I actually spent inside that big cold tube was very short, because typically, although it can vary, sessions don't usually last longer than about three minutes. Supporters of the therapy believe it has a positive effect on all kinds of things like sleep, muscle recovery, energy, and even mood. Now, to give you more information about whole body cryotherapy and so that I can find out some more details myself, a clinic in London has kindly said I can come along, have a session and ask a load of questions. Tendons are highly uh, avascular. Uh, Dr. E. Yes, ma'am. Tell me, yeah. what is going to happen to my body when I get in that chamber? Um, you're going to have an initial flight or flight response. Um, your, your mentor, your mind is going to tell you, get out, Gemma, get out. Right? You're, you're going to hold your breath as you do when you go in a cold shower. And your blood vessels are going to constrict as part of that fight or flight response. Um, your peripheral blood circulation is going to go to the organs that need it the most because your body is going, going into a, a, a safe mode. So ultimately this is a, a, a way of giving your body a controlled shock to get the benefits of what that can do. So the benefits come after Absolutely. the freezing cold shock? Correct. When you come back to normal temperature, you get something called a reactive hyperemia where your blood vessels don't just go back to resting, they, they hyperexpand. Okay? Through that hyperexpansion, you're getting a flood of all your blood containing oxygen and your nutrients to throughout your body. Your hypothalamus within the brain, once it recognizes you're going through this extreme cold, it's, it's like, I need, to, I, need, I, need to, I need to save myself, I need to regenerate. So what happens is, it causes a, um, a hormonal effect where it starts to pulse out growth hormone and, and testosterone. So studies show that the levels of these regenerative hormones increase over time when you go through uh, whole body cryotherapy. That's one of the mechanisms that it drives better sleep in the long run. I can do this! We use whole body cryotherapy as one of the, the bullets towards uh, driving optimal health. Okay. Um, because you've got lots of things on offer here. There's, there's no silver magic body Hyperbaric oxygen yeah. therapy, yeah. intravenous therapy. Intravenous therapy, intravenous ozone, intravenous laser, functional medicine, advanced testing, nutrition, health coaching. Ultimately, we, we prescribe it for people that want to get um, uh, a muscul musculoskeletal benefit, i.e. physical recovery. Cardiac endurance, interestingly, improves, right? And increases the anaerobic threshold, so great for athletes. For people that want to improve their stress resilience, people that have trouble sleeping, people that have pain, right? But we don't see a lot of those, but yes, it improves chronic pain. A metabolic effect, because each session has an internal effect of up to 500 to 800 calories burned. For the longer term benefits, sleep, pain, uh, mood, right? you want to be doing it over, over a period of time, even though you want to have some short-term benefit. But it's like going to the gym, really. You're not going to get six-pack from one intense session of hits, right? You're going to need to do things serially. Three, two, one. And it's a whole body cryotherapy chamber, a chamber which is quite different to a lot of gyms which have partial cryotherapy with your head out. That's the one I tried before, yeah. yeah. How does it help people to be more stress resilient? Um, so in the short term, um, you get this endorphin release, okay, so um, that's in the short term it elevates your mood, 
um, allows you to pay more attention and focus. How does it speed muscle recovery? I guess this is why athletes use it. Yeah, so they, athletes will use it immediately after their most enduring activities, so footballers use it after their, their, their game. They will have pro-inflammatory complexes aggregate at the sites where they're most sore, right? Um, and it takes a, normally takes a few days for those complexes to go, and that's why our soreness lasts for a few days after training. However, with the cryotherapy, you get this one circulatory effect where you get this vasoconstriction so that to the muscles, the, the, the blood kind of clamps down, then you get this surge which helps the circulation around. And the second effect is that you have this antioxidant effect and it helps calm down the inflammation actually. So um, uh, many studies have shown the levels of inflammatory complexes in your blood decreases after cryotherapy. Okay. So yeah, that's how it helps your muscles recover quicker. Will it have any benefit on my muscles today? Yes. Okay. When did you last train? Yesterday. Yeah. Are there any negative effects? If you put the right patient in, no. Obviously there are contraindications and you have to be mindful of the circulatory effect, the, uh, and there's, there's few steps you need to, to go through in your consent process to make sure you're the right candidate for it. You're gonna do two and a half to three minutes. You're gonna do it. You can do it. I'll try. You will. You'll do it. And thereafter, you're gonna come and do the red light therapy 15, 20 minutes, both sides, front and back. Um, and then you're gonna go enjoy your day. Okay. So, this is your open for cryotherapy. Okay. So, you get the cutest shorts. Get this little bra top. Okay. So, we wanna have any extremities covered. minus 101 right now. We're waiting for that temperature to drop to minus 110 because that's the temperature that I'm going to endure for two and a half minutes. And I feel really nervous. I actually feel nervous. been a few hours since my whole body cryotherapy session and to sum up I would say it was certainly a shock to the system. Not long after I got inside the chamber it felt like my inner core, lungs and windpipe were kind of quivering. My outer arms felt like they were probably among the coldest parts of my body. I imagined they were forming a frost. And then after I left the clinic, I had an unusual sensation in my lower legs. I want to say they felt wobbly, but they weren't weak. Cognitively, I felt a little bit on edge, yet slightly spaced out at the same time, and then a bit tired, but it all soon wore off. However, 
Whole body cryotherapy isn't something I plan to do regularly because I don't feel like I need or want to. If I was a professional athlete, maybe I would think differently. Now, about the cost. At LMS Wellness, they don't have a set price for cryotherapy sessions because it's one of several therapies they offer to clients who pay monthly to have bespoke recommendations based on their individual needs. But if you Google whole body cryotherapy, you'll find varying prices for a single session and most seem to be under £100. And finally, please don't interpret any of the information in this video as medical advice. You should always speak to your doctor or healthcare provider before embarking on any new therapy or treatment. Take care, bye-bye. YouTube viewers, I really appreciate you watching that video. It would be wonderful if you hit the red subscribe button. It costs you nothing and it means that you'll get notified whenever I post a Health Hackers video. You can follow me on social media too. Handles right beneath me. I love hearing from you. Bye-bye.